Good morning guys, welcome back to another video on this channel and today we are We what what is this Valtronic hold up? Why is this even what's going on here? Wait a second boys Uh-uh hold up hold up Oh, There's a phone there's a phone number in here Let's go ahead and give Daltronic a call here. Hey Austin, hey bro, what's going on, dude? Um, I, I didn't actually order an exhaust this time for my uh, for my car. This looks like it's an exhaust for the i8. Uh huh, uh huh, yeah. Wait, what? No, you're not serious. Wait. No, <laughs> guys. Oh my god. Okay, all right, all right. I'll let them know. I'll let them know. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Okay, all right. Take care, Austin. All right, take care. Take care. Thank you. Guys, brand new exhaust just came in for the i8. I mean, oh my goodness. This is, I've been trying to build the best i8 on the internet. We have a full carbon fiber kit. Obviously not Liberty Walk their bag, but I do want to bag it eventually. And who knows, maybe a Liberty Walk kit. But the next thing I really wanted after all the carbon, the carbon fiber steering wheel and all that good stuff um, was an exhaust. I really wanted something to make the car feel more exotic and uh, I've seen Valtronic's videos with the i8 exhaust and I think it sounds absolutely insane. So they went ahead and sent me a full exhaust for the i8 guys, but there is one little catch. But honestly, it's not a catch because it's a win-win. If you guys go down to the link down below, first link down below is Valtronic's YouTube channel. Once we get them to 5K subscribers, we can go ahead and install this bad boy onto the i8. So please, please, please go down to Valtronic, subscribe to the YouTube channel. They have a lot of exhaust systems of many different cars. Their E92 M3 exhaust sounds so good that I literally just want to get an E92 M3 so I could put that exhaust on there. And they have a G80 M3 exhaust as well that sounds absolutely insane. That's going to be the one I'm linking down below. So like the video, subscribe to their YouTube channel, please, so we can go ahead and install this exhaust. He said, I cannot install it till we get them to 5K subscribers. That is the least we can do. So please go ahead and link down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Might as well just comment hashtag save a BMW. Why not? Woo! I'm excited. The topic of today's video is the 135. So we, we finally got the car smogged as you guys saw in the last video. So thankfully the car is smogged. It did break and lamp. Everything was good to go. I do have some maintenance coming in for it because I do want to perfect this car. Uh, but we also have some mods for it that just came in. So we have some mods at my other place. But before we do that, we need to get the, the temporary registration to get the car so we can drive it around because, you know, we need that temporary registration. So let's head down to North Highlands, hit up my boy, get the temporary plates, and then head to my parents' place. Alright guys, just got here with the plates and everything, so uh, yep, we are good to go. Let's head over to the gym real quick, you know, get them gains going and then slap this on the 135. Just made it to the gym, we have our new plates, but we gotta get a workout in the morning and then uh, probably get a little bit of sun, sun to eat and then, you know, we gotta work on the 135. We have a new carbon mod for the 135, super stoked on it, never actually did this carbon mod before, so uh, Super excited to see how it is gonna look on the 135. Before we do that, obviously, you know, we gotta care about our health first. See you guys in a bit once my chest is a little bit bigger. <laughs> and just like that, guys, we are officially out of the gym. And uh, you know, your boy's feeling a little better. You know, he's been a lot healthier. That's how, that, that's what matters. So now we are heading out to my parents' place. We have a couple things to do with the M5. And uh, we have a couple things we gotta get done on the, the 135, which is that beautiful new carbon fiber piece. Now as for the M5 guys, also get this video to 1,000 likes. I'm not asking much. 1,000 likes guys and I will drive my booty from here to LA and personally drop off the M5 to get worked on so we can get this thing to start up. So we have the new flywheel, new clutch from FCP Euro, but to get the car to start up, we need those installed. To ship out the car, the earliest date that I have is the 28th of this month to get the M5 down to LA. So I figured, you know, that's about 24 days roughly. That's kind of a long ways away. If you guys want me to get the car out tomorrow, I'll literally get in the truck, take this thing out tomorrow, rent a U-Haul, load up the M5 inside the trailer, and take it down personally to LA, and obviously film it all for you guys. Make sure to smash the like button. Only a thousand likes, guys. I know you guys can do it. That's an easy, breezy, lemon breezy. I just want to bring you guys the best content possible. But, you know, at least a thousand likes. You know what I'm saying? I knew I'd catch you guys when we get to my place. But uh, remember, smash that like button. Take that time. 
And guys, we are officially back at my dad's place. I'm super stoked about this. And uh, you know, that's because I've been waiting so long, so long to install this lip. Yes, carbon fiber lip. I've actually never had this for a 135 before. I never even knew there was a 1M style lip for a 1M style bumper. So this bumper is absolutely gorgeous. Literally transformed the front of this 135, but um, having the lip honestly would just make it stand out even more. So we have the black grills, which honestly came with the car, so that was a huge plus. We have now the 1M Sport Bumper Paint Match, which is awesome. So now, if we put a carbon fiber lip, I think it's gonna look absolutely insane, especially with these aftermarket wheels, K1 Racing, plus these drill slotted rotors in the big brake kit. Obviously, this needs a lot of cleaning, my guys. I ordered a full-on polishing kit for this car, so we're gonna be trying to restore the paint. The main reason is, is because some of the paint on here um, is just kind of like hazed out and I want to just polish off the whole roof and just kind of bring everything back to its original shine. This is again the only car I've ever owned that has absolutely zero lights on the dash which is absolutely insane. I've never actually had a car with zero lights like I mean not zero lights on the dash but like zero lights in the background too like when I put in Carly there was not even a pending code, no backup codes, no nothing like there's zero issues electrically Functionally, everything is perfect, which is just crazy, mind-boggling to me, because it's a BMW, and at least there should be something wrong, right? I did order more maintenance, because we are trying to get all the maintenance done on this thing as well. Again, with all my cars, I want to perfect them 100%, so we did order maintenance on this thing. On top of the brakes, rotors, and brake sensors, we did an oil change. Uh, I don't think we did the spark plugs either, but if we need to, we will. But yeah, we have some more major maintenance coming in for the front end. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and install that lip. I think that lip is just something that's been long awaited and I really want to install it. And of course, it's from Keys Motorsports. So let's go ahead and get that beautiful lip out of the box. And with the power of editing, guys, it is officially unboxed. Now, for a very small piece of carbon, this is why I love Keys Motorsports. It's boxed, it's boxed, it's wrapped, and there was boxes around the wrap that's protecting within this box, that's within this box. Literally, you guys are fully protected. There's not even anything cheaping out with the with the shipping. This carbon, guys, is literally this exact same sheet of carbon that literally feels on my IA. Very, very, very good carbon. Again, Keys Motorsports has been literally outperforming themselves every single year. I've noticed it because I've been with them for a very long time, and they're carbon is just getting better and better and better. As for the rear, you guys can see, this isn't like a full piece of carbon fiber. This is a fairly thin piece, but not very thin. As you can see by the thickness there, it is pretty good thickness. But considering the price of this, it's not your average $600 lip. I believe this is like half of that price. So I think honestly for the money, this is actually really, really, really good. And I like how the holes already pre-jilled out. So we just have to just pretty much line this up with the car. And I think you just pretty much mount it on. I don't think it's gonna be too hard. So I'm pretty excited about this. I think it's gonna make the front end look so much better on this 135. And I'm so happy we painted the bumper already because now it's gonna be a perfect paint match. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the car up a little bit. So it'll be easier to mount that thing and uh, let's get to work. <laughs> My God, okay, we just got this thing on with 3M. This is gonna look absolutely insane. Let's go in and get some screws in there. Guys, this lip looks so good. I am so, so, so happy with it. I mean, the only other thing that would've been absolutely perfect is if this went all the way down here, but maybe that would've been a little bit too big. I love the amount that it sticks out, and plus, after a couple of screws, this thing is like solid with the bumper here. So I don't see this going anywhere, which is absolutely perfect. This looks so much more aggressive. Definitely, definitely, definitely happy with how far this has come so far. Also, for those of you guys who are wondering, uh, 135s, I believe, don't actually come with fog lights, but. Uh, uh, this cutout basically does direct the air into the air duct right there. So it just, you know, it, it, it has its purpose right here. And same for the other side. Woo, buddy. All right, at this point, guys, we just need to make it legal now. Nothing's more satisfying than getting some mods on your car and making it street legal. I mean, God bless. 
I saved this one for myself, and that's because I wanted to put it on the M5. So let's go ahead and just throw this in the M5 as well, just because we're gonna be spending a bunch of money saving that M5. It definitely deserves this plate. Also, don't forget, guys, if you guys want me to literally drive out seven hours, tow the M5 personally with our F-150 down to LA to get that thing worked on literally in three days, make sure to smash that like button. Only a thousand likes. I'm not asking much. Come on, guys, smash that like button. And also, guys, don't forget about Valvetronic. We really, really, really want to get that Valvetronic exhaust on the i8. So if you guys can go down to Valvetronic's link down below. I know I'm asking you guys to do a lot in this video, but smash this like button for the M5 and subscribe to Valvetronic and check out their exhaust videos for the i8. I mean, I don't think if you guys have ever heard a full exhaust on the i8, well, we have one for the i8. So if you guys want to hear it, make sure to subscribe to Valvetronic. As soon as we get into 5K, we can install that beast of a Valvetronic exhaust. I am so, so, so stoked. And a huge special shout out to even anodized it in gold. Like, it just looks so good. I cannot wait to put it on. Okay, okay, let's just put the plates on. That's what I'm talking about, boys. By the way, guys, if you guys want to get this lip, make sure to check out Keys Motorsports down below with any other carbon fiber thing. Keys Motorsports down below. Use code NOR5 and save some money on some carbon fiber. But oh my God, guys, I literally cannot wait. I ordered a full polish kit for this car. And obviously, we're going to start doing it for future cars. I'm going to be learning how to polish a car. And it's important to learn new skills every single day. So I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I do it. And hopefully, you guys will learn from my mistakes and ultimately start, start learning how to polish your own cars. I think that's going to be absolutely crazy because this this one seriously needs it and I think it's gonna look so 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 good once it's done but as of right now that is the end of this video again guys make sure to smash that like button if you guys want to see the M5 I take it straight to LA hopefully in the next video and make sure to subscribe to Vaptronic if you guys want to see my i8 turn into one of the best i8s you guys have ever seen and obviously sound like the best i8 you guys have ever heard without further ado guys I love y'all so much remember to stay humble I'll see you guys in the next one peace out <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be Better not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth